Hello again, uh, another little video demonstration on how to use the eye surfer. This time it's for the intermediate level surface. Uh, I'll just quickly run through what you get if you purchase the eye surfer product application. Um, so that this is for intermediates. You get bottom turn, cutbacks, re-entry floaters, snaps, barreling, barrel riding, and generating speed. For each of these things. We have steps for forehand and the backhand on how to perform them. This gives you a little descriptions of what the actual turn is that you're performing or learning how to do and what its main use is for. So the intermediate level section is mainly building a foundation for your surfing. These are all the basic moves that everyone should know when they're in the intermediate level. Um, now, moving on, the equipment section you would already have full knowledge of, I would say, being an intermediate surfer, maybe surfboard section, knowing what type of surfboard suits you best and for what conditions would be something to learn. Um, safety, not everyone knows about rips, currents, that type of stuff, even if you are intermediate. Uh, this section will teach you all about that type of stuff, how to get out of rips, how to identify them, what not to do in rips, currents, how to work out which way the sweep is going, what to do if you're caught in a sweep or a current. Um, danger section, that we give you a quick rundown of what to do if you're stung by a blue ball or a jellyfish, how to... Um, uh, release the infected area so treat it pretty much um, the surf log this is important for intermediate surfers very important uh, this is where you will be able to monitor your surfs monitor your progress and keep track of um, what moves you've been working on so you can progress your surfing at a controlled and easy level now the date is the only mandatory thing on the surf session log um, so today I'm just going to give you a quick example surf for an hour type of break it was a beach break swell size it was only small I surf one to two foot wind direction it was light on shore um, the wave direction I was mainly going left uh, location was desert point and board used, uh, rounded pin, L Merrick, YU fins. Okay, done. Moves worked on. Generating, oop, generating speed. So I worked on generating speed down the line out desert point. And then I just log in some session details, uh, surfed deserts with only four of my mates out, was really small but very good for working on generating speed down the line. Log the session, done. Session's logged. Now you can use this if you're on a surf trip to log sessions on a surf trip or um, just to keep a general surf log just so you can show your mates what, how, what you've been surfing, show your mates of a surf trip or a trip through Bali, anything like that. It's pretty, pretty, it'd be pretty handy to have really when you're going on a surfing safari. Um, now you go into your surf logs and this shows you what you surfed. I already logged a session earlier about Desert Point and that's my session I logged earlier down there. So gives you the date, what you did, all the details. Easy. You can edit it by simply deleting like that each log, individual logs, and export logs to email. You can email your friends, you can email it to yourself so you can back it up on your computer. So, and you've got this duration to choose 
which days and type of stuff you want to log. Um, export the log to a mate or something and then send it done. Logs exported. Uh, the other part of the app that would be handy for intermediates would be improvement section, tips for improvement. This gives you a rundown of what can help you progress quicker and how to use the um, intermediate level the best because I think your best off would be your best off doing is like before you go for a surf in the car park have a quick look at your iPhone app and say okay I want to work on cutbacks today uh, they're mainly lefts out there so I'm going to work on my forehand read the steps on how to perform forehand cutbacks and then maybe even if you've got a pencil in your car write down some notes on your board and then you're all good to go and then when you come in, log your surf, and then this will allow you to monitor your progress. Okay, thank you.